So lasers are awesome. They can engrave things, they can cut things, sharks can shoot them from their heads. Laser sharks. But most lasers can't do one thing, and that is engrave on metal. But ugh, this guy can. All right, so let's talk about what this is, how it works, and four of the biggest reasons you might want to get it. All right, so this is the EM Smart Basic 2. This is a 25 watt fiber laser. Now, EM Smart did send me this unit for review, but they are not paying me to make this video. So let's talk about how this works. They're a good bit different than your typical open diode machine that you might have seen from the past. Also, this is a good bit different than a CO2, so a big glass tube laser that is fully enclosed. They're usually bigger. This one is a good deal smaller, but it has two things that make it pretty unique than those other types of lasers. Lasers. That is the laser source, which is actually in this work bed. This produces a laser beam that has a different wavelength that can actually interact directly with metal. So something like this, which is stainless steel. Now you also can get a diode machine that has a laser module at that same wavelength. So you can also do it with metal, but it's still going to be on that big gantry design. And that is where the second big change happens with this machine. And that is after it comes through this fiber optic cable, which I believe is where the fiber name actually comes from, comes into the laser head and there's a lens just like normal right down here that focuses it down. But the second big difference is what happens before that lens and that is because there's an actual galvanometer inside of this. So if I take this F theta lens off like a big monocle that is on here you can kind of see underneath there is a mirror. And that mirror is part of the galvanometer, which can move back and forth very quickly. And that reflects the laser beam all around your work area. Now the work area itself is made up of these threaded inserts and EM Smart provides you with these uh, clear cut acrylic um, with some nylon screws that you can put on top. So you can make fixtures, if, especially if you're doing something like over and over again. But you can see that this also means you are pretty limited in terms of your work area. So this is a hundred by a hundred millimeters. And in terms of benefits, I would rank the fourth best benefit, the overall size of this machine because of how portable this is. It's not like light light, but you can definitely uh, pick it up. I've been going to the gym, so I feel strong, but I'm not strong at all. And it's more robust than like a bigger CO2 machine because it doesn't have a glass tube on the back. Obviously you don't want to be knocking this around because it still does have a glass lens and there's some pretty dialed in internals that you don't want to get messed up. But in terms of portability and size, this is great. If the markings you need to make also aren't super big. So as we continue down to number one, the third best benefit that I find with these type machines is just the overall speed. These are insanely fast. Again, with a CO2 machine or even a diode machine, there's a laser head. So actually your physical diode laser or a head that has a mirror on it that's reflecting it through a lens on like a CO2 machine. That's still moving across a gantry like in the X and the Y and you have stepper motors that are moving that around. And just like practically, you're kind of limited on how fast you really can move that machine versus this guy where the only thing that is moving is a little tiny mirror, which means that this thing has a top speed of around 8,000 millimeters per second. That's compared to a diode or a CO2 machine, which really top out at around 8,000 millimeters per second. And it is insane to actually watch. You can see here are a few demo engraves of this thing just blowing through different projects. And that brings us to benefit number two. And to show you that, uh, let's actually turn this on and I'm going to run you through a demo project, we are going to engrave directly onto stainless steel. This is something you cannot do with a standard blue light diode machine or a CO2 machine. You have to do it at a wavelength that this thing produces, which this thing can. So I'm going to go ahead and drop this on. And the second benefit is already happening. And that is how it can preview the image. It's not previewing right now. There's actually two red dots on this guy and I'm going to drop this down. Those two red dots get closer and closer together. And basically once they line up, you're pretty much dialed in. Now to really see that preview benefit happen, we need to dive into the software real quick. I am using Lightburn. Now you also can use EasyCAD, which I believe is free, uh, or if not, it's always bundled with one of these machines once you get it. But as of fairly recently, Lightburn, which I use to control all my other lasers, also support fiber machines. And so since I'm used to it, that's how I do it. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna write, this is the way, because anytime I do anything with a laser, I feel like it has to be Star Wars related. And then my speed and my power are already set so it's going 400 millimeters per second. And then when I hit start, it's actually gonna take me into a preview. And when I do that, that red laser beam is doing a trace around all of those 
letters. And it basically has a refresh rate that is fast enough where you can see the full image. And so uh, I can visually see it say, this is the way. And then I can just adjust this as needed. That ability to preview is pretty insane. You can compare that with a diode machine, which has like a single red light. And then you can like do a slow trace around whatever you're going to engrave to get an idea of what it's going to look like. But then as you step up in terms of price, a lot of times machines will offer you cameras where you'll get an overlay of your artwork on top of your physical work bed. But you basically are getting a real overlay because this is going to line up exactly. And in terms of practicality, once you get your settings really dialed in with pretty much any laser, the majority of your time is just getting things lined up to where you want things to happen and then repeating it because you had things lined up wrong, at least if you're like me. So this is pretty much foolproof. It is, it's great. All right, so we have this set up and I am going to go ahead and hit trace. I'm going to do this twice. And you can see it running. And stainless is definitely wonky on camera, um, but it definitely did it. But you can even see just then, even at 400 millimeters per second, that is very, very quick. So number two is the quote unquote live preview that pretty much all fiber machines like this offer and specifically the EM Smart Basic 2. And number one on our top four is kind of the most obvious and you probably have already guessed it, is the fact that we are doing metal directly on metal. Now I've also been showing some clips of me engraving on these metal cards, uh, but they are still coated. And it's actually the coating that is being removed off the metal. This can still do that and it still is very fast, but you could also do this with like a traditional diode or CO2 machine as well. This you cannot do with those machines. So directly on raw metal, stainless steel, leather, slate coasters, different metals, so not just steel, brass, and if you're super rich, gold, or then especially aluminum, that's something I wind up doing a good bit is actually marking aluminum parts that I'm putting together, as well as rubber and some different types of plastics. But kind of hidden in this number one benefit of metal is a attribute of these lasers you don't have with anything else. And that is the ability to set the frequency of the laser. So if we're looking at a light wave, we've been talking about wavelength, but you can also set how quickly those peaks and valleys happen. And when you combine that with speed and power, you can get some pretty unique markings that you can't get with pretty much any other type of machine. Now, MOPA fiber machines, which EM Smart also has, and I've actually reviewed a MOPA machine from EM Smart. They open you up to a much wider range of frequencies. And as a result, they're also much, much more expensive. This machine right here is a little over $2,000. This is actually the 25 watt, the basic two. Uh, you can get the basic one, which is 20 watt, but this still does have a range of frequency of 20 to 60 Hertz. And you can see where that can come into a play. This is raw aluminum, and these are a bunch of material tests. As you vary the frequency, you can get different types of looks depending on what you want. And for aluminum, you can actually get a really nice white marking. Um, you just have to really dial in your settings. But for you, with this machine, what that really means is you have another way to dial in the setting so that you're having the marking that you really need to open you up to a bunch more types of materials. And actually a quick tip, speaking of those settings, now I actually have a bunch of test files for diode as well as CO2 machines that you can download at the link below, but you can also create your own directly inside of Lightburn. This is especially true of these fiber machines because now you can dial in that frequency. So to do that, if you're inside of Lightburn, come over here to laser tools, come over here to material test. And from here, you can put whatever you want your test to be. So in this case, this is a 10 by 10 where we're varying speed and power. I'm going from 100, we can take this all the way up to 6,000 and then 10 to 100 on the power. We need a preview of what it's gonna look like and then you can run it. And that's how I did all of those tests on the aluminum because you can, vary things other than just speed and power, but also frequency, which is right here, and also line interval. That's pretty much like your resolution or like what the distance is between each of those marking lines. So that's a really nice tool if you need to create something quickly yourself to test out on materials. Now, a lot of this has been about fiber machines in general, but what are my thoughts of this one specifically? Overall, I like it, especially the form factor that it comes in. A lot of times with these fiber machines will actually be two different units. One is basically like the power supply, everything that is generated the laser beam, so I love this is an all-in-one, but the drawback is that your work area is also going to be smaller as a result. 
Now, the only real drawback I have seen with this is I don't actually know what the laser source is. When you buy it from a lot of other manufacturers, they're gonna tell you the type of laser source. So you kind of know like what is the quality internals that this thing is running on. This is all built unique to EM Smart, um, And that doesn't mean it's a bad thing, but sometimes it's kind of hard to compare this directly to another machine. But when I look at my more expensive MOPA unit, which is in the same form factor from EM Smart, it still performs great. So, so I really think this could be a great option for you, especially if you're limited on space. You don't need a ton of power. Again, this is only 25 watts, but you still need to mark on metal. Now, there's also a rotary version of this. So if you are doing rings or cups, you can get that as well. Now, let's see what it's like to jump from this to a more powerful as well as more versatile MOPA machine. We're going to jump to that right now. Until next time, go make or break something in your shop. See you guys.